Hey guys, it's Chase Daniel. I'm here to give you guys an update about things going on in my life as a trans guy. My first gender therapy appointment next week. Uh, it's next Wednesday. Today is January 5th, 2017. Thursday, 2016 is in the past. It is through my health insurance, Kaiser, and I found out that they have a trans clinic, um, which is great. Um, I don't really know how their trans clinic works, but I was trying to find an informed consent clinic and then they led me back to Kaiser and they're like, well, that would probably be less money. So I'm going through Kaiser for a referral to see if I can go on T, HRT, Hormone Replacement Therapy, T stands for testosterone. Um, I went to a free trans clinic event that I found on Facebook, went to one on December 10th or 11th, I believe it was, it was a Saturday. It was the same day as SantaCon, um, I know that. I live in California, so I can share some of those forms that I need to be able to change my name and gender um, in general, like court ordered, and then also on a passport, birth certificate, and social security number, and ID slash driver's license. So all these right here, you can like screenshot that. Two of those require physician signatures, so if you're not seeing a physician, I would suggest that. This is also like update on me and also like helping other trans guys, um, specifically for this part that I'm talking about, um, trans guys within California. Um, you do need like two or three physician's letters by the clinic. It has to have a logo on it. There's what one trans guy from Nevada told me. It's like with all the passport agencies or whatever. It's like worldwide, universal kind of thing. So here's what one should model um, for a uh, California court order gender change at least. Um, this can be found at the Transgender Law Center website. The free trans clinic event, it helped me, like there were lawyers there and they helped me fill out all these 23 papers. There are 23 papers for this. Yeah, so that's a stressful thing. They also offered to waive my fee, which is $435, but I think my family as a whole, five of us in our household, um, all of us together, year, like annually, we make more than the amount on one of those papers. So I might not actually be able to get it waived, but I am on the list to be able to get it waived. So whenever I turn those papers in, you know, I either will be waived or I won't be waived in court and whatnot. So I have all these papers filled out. I just need my physician's letters. Um, and I mean, you know, next week I'll be told whether I can or can't start tea. It did come out to family members. Okay, so direct family, I really only told my brother in person and that was like a few weeks after everyone in my direct family came back from uh, being overseas for like Thanksgiving break and I didn't want to go because I wanted to focus on school, which is like totally great because like I passed all my classes with A's, four A's, 395%, 190%. Yeah. He said he would try to call me Jace and by the way, my name is Jace, that's how you pronounce it, like Ace, but with a J. Um, so J A C E, not Chase, not C H, Chase Daniel Wong. So J D Dub. Sorry, I just gotta get all those cracks out. He said that it's not. He doesn't really even think about it to not call me Robin, but just which is my birth name, by the way, um, but to call me Jace. I wrote a coming out letter to my parents. Um, my mom took it, you know, more okay than I thought uh, she would, but then my dad did not take it as okay as I thought he would. Uh, my dad refuses to call me my name and use my pronouns, and no one in my direct family has really used my pronouns yet. Um, people in my extended family, meaning just on my dad's side, because I haven't told anyone on my mom's side, but everyone on my dad's side um, has used, like, or tried to use, um, my pronouns or like correct themselves or call me Jace. My mom has started to call me Jace. Initially she was kind of like sketchy about it. Um, she kind of like would like sarcastically say my name like Jace. I only came out to like two of my friends in person and one of them, only one of them, I actually asked her about names. So like all the names that I thought of um, were single syllable names. So it's Jace, Jet, Seth, Gabe, and Tate. and. Tate because I love Tate from American Horror Story, Tate Langdon, and then um, Jace, I don't know how I came up with that one. My guy friends was asking me the other day, he's like, how'd you come up with that? Is it short for Jason? Can I call you Jason? I was like, my intention was not to have it be short for Jason. I didn't actually even think of that. Um, it's just Jace because it's simple and like, 
the, tra the names that I chose, um, they're separate from my birth name, which is Robin, um, because I don't think Robin fits me now or even fitted me as a girl. Um, and I don't think Rob or Robert or Ben, like, you know, Robin, Ben, um, I don't think any of those names even fit me as a guy or a girl. How many girls do you know named Robert? But, um, <laughs> I had some friends tell me that Jace fits me as a guy and, like, it really suits me and that's a fucking sick name. And I just love it because I thought it was a sick ass name too. So, which is like why I call myself Jace and I just really like that name. And it, like, I had some friends call me Jace and stuff um, before I came out to my family and it had like a really nice ring to it and it just, the name that fit me. My mom and my dad had kind of had the same views. Like they're both religious, they're both Christian, but I mean like everyone on my dad's side, you know, they have been really supportive so far. Um, it kind of just, hurts it really actually hurts uh to be misgendered and misnamed i was watching skylar kegel skylar kegel's um video i believe and he's like you know, i think it's his video it was like you know like if you don't love your child someone else will and i mean it's true because you know a lot of my friends who support me um but my dad doesn't so my dad's side of the family he has three siblings he has two sisters my dad's the eldest um he has two sisters and then one brother and so on christmas day when they all came over i overheard my uncle talking to my mom like oh is it jace because i sent an email a few days before telling them you know i'm trans this is the name that i prefer to go by these are my pronouns that i prefer to go by and only one of them actually said something to me about it she hasn't called me jace or use he him his pronouns yet but like she when she came in she was like hey I read your email like I love you um it might be hard for me to kind of switch because she has like a nickname associated with my birth name that like to be honest I never really liked but like we'll just like leave that like in the closet like me I'm actually in the closet um <laughs> my uncle I ever heard him talking to my mom like it's a Jace and then my mom's like Jace and then or like well, what's his name me what's his name I feel so good um and then uh, later on he like said something to me he's like Jace and then he goes a am I saying it right and it was like so cute and like super sweet and like it warmed my heart and then my aunts my aunt and my uncle um, with the cousins that I am closest to who are 18 and 21 um, they uh, their parents called me Jace um, so I went to their house like the next week and my uncle was like hey how are you Jace and then when I left my aunt was like oh bye Jace my aunt who is married to my dad's brother um, she said Jace no problem and then my cousin the one that's 21 she, when she came in through her door on Christmas she was like hey Jace and then I was like oh you didn't even hesitate and like on like Christmas Day like she corrected herself like almost every time and it was like really great like no pause like it was like she would say my birth name and then she would like say Jace like immediately after it wasn't just like oh uh, I mean Jace kind of thing with my dad's side they all seem really supportive and that's great um, I'm just kind of worried for you know because the whole in general and with uh, Chinese culture respect your elders and my dad's the oldest sibling and they might be like oh well, like I'm really confused why won't like you know my dad call Jace Jace and you know I don't know just like some family turf um, actually planning to send an email to my professors though because um, I start class in two weeks and being like hey you know I know this is my name on the roster but this is my preferred name these are my preferred pronouns etc I may or may not actually mention that I'm transgender but um, another trans guy helped me like create a template um, basically um, to come out in a sense to my professors which is also kind of hard because um, with my major all the classes um, regarding like towards my major um, and I'm not planning to transfer um, just because you know with my major I don't really have to and also just because money and other things but no friends um, I only came out to two in person um, and then names that I've gotten from one of my cousins who's okay so my cousin one of my cousins name her name is Stacy and then one of my other cousins her name is Grace um, and now I'm Jace and so my cousin Stacy when she was younger when we were younger I used to call her Stace face which she apparently hated the name Stace and her dad would call her it all the time um, but now her sister is like oh can I call you Jace face and I'm like oh man 
but yeah one of my friends was like jace 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 can i call you jace face i was like actually someone already came up with that but um you can and then um my best friend she was like oh i'm gonna come up with like all these nicknames for you um because her brother's name is jason and she's like oh, i don't want to call you jace because like that's like my angry name for my brother so like i guess when she's mad at her brother she calls him jace so she was like oh how about jd like you know jace daniels jack daniels like the alcohol uh or J and D, like Jack and Coke. Um, so yeah, you called me Jace, JD, Jace Face, Jack Daniels. I mean Jace Daniels, um, or J Dub for J Swong, J Dub or J D Dub. Yeah, all of my friends have been really supportive. Um, if I can, I can include the pictures of. I used to, like took pictures of like the support that I received from my friends which was really great and it made me feel like really good and honestly I like might have cried a little bit um but yeah um it's because like one of my friends the first person that I told in person I was like hey um I'm gonna tell you something but I don't know how to say it. and she's like oh it's okay take your time and like we were in the car um because we were out in public um for some event and I didn't want to say it there because there were a lot of people surrounding us and um so i like hesitate a little bit and then i was like um i'm trans and then she's like oh so do you still prefer like do you still go by like my birth name um or and i was and at the time i said yes i still had the a uh, name idea of Jace in my mind, but I was like, well, I haven't 100% decided on a name, so I'm not going to tell her that. But then I did tell her the names that I was thinking of. So, like, yeah, no one in my family has called me, no one in my direct family other than my mom has called me Jace or used male pronouns. A lot of dysphoria created for me when my dad um, calls me, like, my birth name or, like, the nickname of my birth name and uses she and, like, her and my daughter and stuff, and it's like, ah. Uh, and it's like, I've already told him anyways that uh, it creates a lot of dysphoria for me and that dysphoria turns into a lot of self-hate. It hurts to have to live in the perceptions that other people have of me. I'm Jace Daniel. Hope any of that helped for y'all. Um, and there's also just another update on my life. But all of my social media accounts will be below. It's Hey, it's Jace. Later.